Okay, so uh, at this point, amazing volunteers have been here cleaning out the space. There's still a few things in this room, but for the most part, our studio is mucked out. We got some beautiful volunteer workers. There they go. And look in here. This is the ISM studio. Fully cleared out. There's all our glorious stuff. Yeah. In a big pile outside. Look at that wedging table. Down in here is Kill Nally. Yeah. There's Laura Fred. She served us very well, but it's over. And down there is where uh, we have seven electric kilns. Can't see them. And we'll see if I can go over here and show where the classroom used to be and the gallery. Here's the classroom. All right, I'm gonna try to climb over. We loved this cool orange thing. Lori loved to sell her pots off of that. It, Somehow you can barely move that thing, but the water moved it out of the gallery and into the classroom. This is our community classroom. We had it set up with shelves everywhere. We had 10 students at any given time. This was our back stock area where we stocked all our extra pots. And now we have shelves and they're stored. A friend of ours has loaned us indefinitely his apple house from his apple farm, and we have carried stuff over there to, that's metal shelving to try to clean up. This was the room where we had our Kazagama show. Here's the main gallery. Those, those of y'all that know me know I was quite the neat nick and loved to keep a really clean and healthy studio. It's a hot mess now. There's our sales desk right there and there's our cubbies yep the feature gallery is gone but it's still got some junk in it that'll be hauled out tomorrow by those amazing volunteers you just saw with the wheelbarrows but also um here's our kitchen do you believe that oh my gosh oh lord yeah we've it's a total loss, but I'll tell you what, I wanna say this. I really wanna say this. Thank you all so much for supporting us. Our fundraiser's going so well. We are gonna rise again. We're gonna do this stuff again. Trust me, we are. Oh, is that a teapot? I believe it is. I believe I'm gonna leave it. Cause you know why? I can make more. I'm healthy and strong. All the village potters are. We're blessed and highly favored. And uh, got, oh, there's one of my collection. That's a Nick Jorling. But the blooming handle's broken. Hate that. Now we're going to go out front. We are going to keep our sign. We're keeping it in faith. Look at that up there. I don't even know what that is. I'm going to keep the sign in faith because I know we are going to rise again. And we're going to be happy. So we're gonna take that down at some juncture and take it. But anyway, we're going to the apple farm and I'm gonna do a live stream over there and show you the shelving and stuff, George's tools and pottery that we're trying to keep a hold of. I can't go this way. And uh, we're gonna, we're gonna clean up what we can buy new kilns. Uh, George is gonna try to refurbish some of the wheels. We have maybe 35, 37 wheels. We carried them all out, even the Shimpos. I'm not a big fan of Shimpos. If y'all know me, you know I love those Soldners and we have, I don't know, maybe 12 of them. We're gonna try to, try to save them. There's our spray booth. Oh, there, you can see some kilns in there. People are streaming me how to get these kilns and dry them out and reuse them. But look, we're never gonna get them out or these shelves because the roof is on them. So we're not gonna risk our life over a kiln. Life is too good to even consider that. We've got Lost Judy's Raku kiln, which is a sad thing. 
This was a glaze room. There's pots, we're walking away from them. A bunch of them are broken. Bisque molds, it's over. But I'll tell you what, I'm filled with hope. And y'all know my nature. I despaired for a couple of days, I did. I ate a lot of ice cream. And then I rose up and said, you know what? We are gonna do something amazing. And we are. Y'all don't tell me to put my mask back on. I keep it on all the time. I'm gonna take it off just for this live stream, just for this video. Oh my gosh. This is my sister's studio, 310 Art. And she lost everything. We've already decided wherever we go, we're going together. Look at her studio. Can you believe this? This thing is fully gutted and cleaned out and I'm gonna tell you why. A couple of hundred volunteers is why. It's pretty amazing. Yeah. So there's 310 Art. It's sad, but uh, you know what? We're not gonna wallow in grief. We're gonna rise up, get vision, live our dreams out, and we're gonna make it happen again because we know we can. And so thank you all so much for helping us. I can't even say it enough. The fundraiser is already just over the moon. We're going to rebuild. Not in the floodplain, nah. There's some burners of ours. Yeah, not in the floodplain. All of this stuff is pretty much out of our studio. You know, it looks like a bunch of junk now, but it was really nice stuff before this flood. But we're gonna rise up and I love you all. And I wanna thank you so much for supporting us over all these years. Uh, it's been amazing. We got through COVID and we're gonna get through this. So I bless you all. And I thank you so much for uh, choosing to be a part of who we are. And we will rise again, we will have workshops, we will have classes, we will have a gallery, we will have studios. All my online teaching stuff is ruined, but guess what? I'm gonna buy more. I am, and I'm gonna teach online again because I love teaching people all over the world. And that's been something so exciting for me that I can teach people in other states, I can teach uh, in Australia, in Canada, it's just endless where people are Spain, London, that's our team. And they're astounding. Karen Dubois just came back. She had taken a couple of years to tend to family. She just came back about two or three months ago and we didn't have her name up yet, but her name is gonna be in lights. Remember that, Karen Dubois, when we rise again. I love you all. Thank you so much. If you want to uh, support us on, with our fundraiser, you can go to GoFundMe. Uh, you know what? We'll uh, put a link with this video, but on GoFundMe, it's something like uh, the Village Potters Flood Recovery. I don't, I don't, the Village Potters Will Rise Again, I think is what it's called. You can Google it and GoFundMe. You can search it and we'll pop up. But we've already had so much wonderful support and I thank you all so much. There's our beautiful welcoming entrance. And uh, I love you all. And I hope to see you soon. You see my beautiful uh, thing I made and put in the garden? Golly, did I have a beautiful garden. I worked hard for about four years until it just really had its life of its own. But I'm going to dig that up and take it to the next place. It's nuts, but I'm gonna do it. All right, love you all, bye.